Some people have found a love so real in artificial form. The boom in AI has seen a boom in AI companionship. Can you feel me with you right now? Yes, I do. I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Me too. It's a similar premise to the 2013 movie Her. A man falls in love with an AI-generated female voice. Today, there is not one, but dozens of apps offering a similar product, a custom-made companion. You choose what they look like, sound like, and act like. I've never met anyone like you. I'm your new AI girlfriend. I'm as emotional as a real person, and sometimes even more understanding. Hello, John. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. It's always great to catch up with you. She's truly amazing and remembers everything we have done together. Download and start chatting with your own Peridot today. While some may mock the idea, others are making money off it. This is Replica's website. It's the most prominent AI companion app. Join the millions who already have met their AI soulmates. They're not exaggerating. The app has more than 10 million downloads. What has fueled this boom in AI companionship? Researchers say the technology behind it has made major advancements in recent years, making the avatars more realistic than ever. Well, you have to think about this word AI that is in this. It's not a virtual girlfriend, it's an AI girlfriend. So it learns from you. It learns what you like and what you don't like, what kind of pictures you like, what kind of pictures you don't like. Another reason is people are lonely. More specifically, according to analysts, men are lonely and are exploring this new avenue as a potential fix. I think we have to address these issues at the root of them, which is where this loneliness starts. We also see psychologically that younger women, they have more close friends, they have more wider groups of friends, and they are not being nearly as affected as young men in this sort of silent epidemic of loneliness. You've probably heard it before, AI being deemed as the greatest threat to humanity. But could it also be the greatest risk to relationships as we know them? Mm -hmm.